let's keep trucking because we've started talking about this. So let's get the uh, the factoids and the figurinos around this National Party announcement today. Well, campaign promises are coming thick and fast thick now. And fast. National today made a play for the student vote by changing KiwiSaver rules so it can be. I mean, the student vote, really? For the student <laughs> vote. <laughs> Apparently, young national have been telling Chris uh, Bishop that, that it's a it's a priority for them. I do not believe. Meanwhile, the Greens are promising a plan to give all stolen land back to Maori. Here's political report. That's another thing we're not talking about tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Scraping together the savings for a rental bond can be a struggle for some students. And now the Nats yeah, are looking for their look. vote. We're going to let people aged under thirty use their KiwiSaver balance to pay for their bond for uh, accommodation. The median oh, rent for a three-bedroom house is $775 a week. The maximum bond a landlord can charge is four weeks, so the bond would be $3,100. Yeah, but split amongst 14 people who live in the Castle Street flat, though. So, But anyway. A common sense law change that we think will make sense. it a bit easier uh, for young people in particular to get together the... Uh, quite a large amounts of cash that young people struggle with. While there would be a five-year cap on the scheme, Kiwi savers borrowing from their investments would be worse <laughs> off because of compounding interest. Of course. With, say, a 6% interest rate over that five years, that three grand would have grown to more than $4,000. So that person could have lost more than $1,000 wow. worth of interest. They will lose that while it's out, uh, out of their Kiwi saver. That's true. It's just another example of the National Party raiding KiwiSaver all of the time. It's not mandatory, it's an option. But they're going to make a difference for some young people and some people will choose to take it up. Politicians flood back here to Parliament this week for the final stretch before the election and the policies are starting to fly thick and fast. As well as the National Party's KiwiSaver bond borrow, the Greens today promised Tangata Whenua to give their stolen land back. They'd do that by repealing the deadline for treaty claims and investigating the extent to which land was taken from Māori. New Zealanders understand what fairness is. New Zealanders understand no, that when do. something is taken, there needs to be redress. New Zealanders understand that when injustice has happened, there needs to be restoration. And as private land, which was originally taken from Tangata Whenua, comes up for sale, it would first be offered to Iwi and Hapu. Mm. If they want it, the Crown would then negotiate to buy it. What we are not setting out to mm -hmm. do is create further injustice and breaches the way that Māori have been subjected to for 180 years. The treaty settlement process is a full and final settlement process, and I have no intention of reopening that. But the Greens say it's a priority for coalition talks. Hashtag land back. <laughs> <laughs> Arguing you can't see tongue of whenua without the whenua. Amelia Wade, New Sub. All right, again, uh, busy, busy night. I uh, don't have much information on that. Welcome to uh, throw. Yeah, can we stop with the dog porn, please? It's not fair. People are just great. You're already bloody the team favourite, Chill. You don't need to bring the dog in just to make it even better. Um, anyway. Uh, I'm, uh, we can talk a bit about that. I'd rather deep dive into that Greens uh, policy, though, and actually have a proper good look at it because it sounds really interesting. Um, so let's, let's look at the rental one. So this is what I see the, uh, the the National Party doing. What they're doing is they're saying there's a real problem with housing. We are the party what? of solutions. We are the party that are going to bring solutions when a Labour Party didn't. What we're going to mm. do is to solve the rental property issue by raiding your KiwiSaver and having you worse off at the end of the five-year period than you were. In other words, the problem is the housing market and the cost of rentals. The solution would be to sort that out, but they're not. They're actually just finding another way to get there. And I'm, and I'm using emotive words on purpose. Um, and and to, to have their uh, rich landlord mates, and I know not all landlords are rich yeah. landlord mates, but their rich landlord mates getting more money from the poor students or poor people under 20 who can't afford. Remember, it's only the people who can't afford a bond already. So it's likely going to be mm. lower socioeconomic people. So your retirement savings is now going into the pockets of your landlord. Yes, I know you get your bond back. I know it's not in their literal pockets, but it, well, it, enables, well, it enables them to get into do the Do you get your bond them. back? Sure. It just seems to be incredibly short-sighted from the party of solutions, Chewy. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to clean the carpets after you left. It cost seven hundred dollars. Yeah, true. Um, and, and and you know you didn't clean the shower, so I had to get a cleaner and to do that. And that's three hundred dollars. 
bam, I've I've kept all of it. I'm a clever landlord. You know, it's 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 just bullshit. Just the assumption that oh, you you know, it it it's you you can just recycle your bond into your next place and your next place, and you'll get it back eventually. Bullshit. It'll get whittled away on your twelve month contracts as every landlord sticks his hand out and goes, oh. Now I know I can ask for four weeks bond because they can all get it out of their KiwiSaver. Yeah, yeah, true. I can up the bond. Bullshit. I can. I, I, and it's, I can it's, go. It's, yeah, it's not can... coming from from you know the young Nats. None of those guys will need to raid their KiwiSaver. Yeah, those true. are the guys that go to university and their parents buy a flat because yeah. their kid's going off to study to be a lawyer in Otago, and it's it's easier to buy a flat than for him to rent. The bank of mum and dad, as Steve yeah, says. Mim absolutely. It's a shit policy. But again, uh, it, I think it illustrates a point that National's covered, ideas covered is fucking empty. Yeah. And I just can't, I mean, I just can't get over, like, I don't have a problem, like, because you can raid your KiwiSaver for other stuff, like buying a house, right? Like as a part of deposit for a house, getting an asset. But it's always like this conversation I, I've had for 20 years about asset sales. I'm not anti-asset sales. It depends what the assets are being sold for. The last time this was put on the on the chopping board in a big way, they said it was to fix up classrooms and hospitals. And my position was, well, that's a stupid thing to sell assets for because what happens in 20 years' time when they need to be done again, you don't have the asset. That's the thing you borrow for. Mm. So I wasn't for asset sales for that thing. So I'm not, I, I don't have a problem with the idea of borrowing or taking out of your KiwiSaver, but it depends what for. And for a bond is utter lunacy, especially when, as we've just seen on the news, average bond lose a thousand bucks people are worse off they've got a flat but financially they're worse off after that time and this is this is again from the party who claims to have all the answers and from the party who says they're more fiscally responsible it, it's i just it needs it needs to be called out for what it is utter horseshit it's not even this isn't even populist because i guarantee it won't be very popular chewy I, I think they might as well just be honest about it and go, we're letting the under 30s raid their KiwiSaver because we all know that none of them are living to 65 or 75 or 80 if we get our way. Got my dog. That's a dog on a cup. It's not the well, same. You've dog. got your own dog. You've got no, your own not, real dog. She's not down here. She's upstairs playing with the cat. Oh. It's not fair. Um, I go to the <laughs> bottom of the list when they're here. So anyway, um, utterly horseshit, terrible policy, um, not clever not inspiring, won't get them any votes. So one has to wonder why. I mean, I don't want, I don't want to be too much of a pessimist, but at this time of the cycle, we're seeing policies by all political parties to help them get votes. Who is this going to attract? Like, who is this going to go, oh, you know, I've been really thinking over where I should put my vote, but I think definitely now I'm going to vote for Labour because now I can raid my KiwiSaver for a $220 bond as one fourth of this flat in Palmerston North. Makes no sense whatsoever.